Now, what do we do if we have something like radio buttons or we have several buttons that we want to work together? Well, jQuery gives us a button set and they work especially well for radio buttons like we have here where you simply want to choose male versus female as a gender. In our text editor, I do want to point out one important thing. That is, I have an LI with an ID of gender that I'm going to be using. And my inputs of type radio are both inside of that LI. Now, if you're not using list items as your form layout tool, you will want to use a div. That's because we're going to use the button set. That's because the button set in jQuery UI goes on the surrounding element, not the individual inputs. The other thing we want to point out, just as with the toggle button, is that we're using labels for our input, and our labels are using the for attribute based upon the ID of our input. And come down here to my script tag, create a jQuery selector for my parent element that contains my radio buttons. I'm going to create it into a set. And instead of typing button for the method, I'm going to use button set. Save this, reload my form, and you'll notice all of a sudden that whatever was selected is a selected item and I have my other option. I can only have one selected at a time. If I click on the one that's already selected, it's not going to change, just as if you were to use a regular radio button. You are not limited to only having two elements in a button set. You can have several, three, four, and five easily. The big thing you want to be careful of, of course, is because these go out horizontally, you don't want to run out of horizontal room while you're working with them. Just as with other buttons in jQuery UI, this performs the same as if there was no markup whatsoever. Therefore, your form processor on the back end does not have to change. And if the user has JavaScript turned off or anything else, the form works as a standard HTML form. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way, you can get the most up-to-date information.